welcome back to my channel my name is Nicole and today is tag Tuesday so I'm gonna be doing the totally should have book tag this tag was created by Emma from Emma books and I'll make sure to leave the original video linked down below the purpose of this tag is pretty much giving us readers the ability to vent about things that we wanted from authors or that we wanted from our favorite series so without further ado let's jump into the tag the first question is totally should have gotten a sequel the book that I think that totally should have gotten a sequel is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Now, as of filming this video, she hasn't released a sequel. I know her intentions were to write a sequel as soon as she finished this one, but it is 2018 and we still haven't gotten a sequel. I want to know more about what happens with Eleanor, how she accommodates to living in a different city with a different family member. I want to know if her and Park ever reunite again, honestly. This story is just so heart-wrenching that I want to continue reading and I am a big fan of this so I would definitely pick up a sequel if she were ever to write one. The next question is, I totally should have gotten a spin-off series. Hey, Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. Now I'm holding up Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire because this is the one that I'm reading right now. It's my first time reading the series but I have watched the movie hundreds of times, not hundreds, but I've watched the movie multiple times. I have a tattoo dedicated to this entire series and this series has a very special place in my heart. I would want a spin-off series pretty much of anything related to this book, but my number one dream that I have as a spin-off series of these books is a Marauders prequel. I love the Marauders. Sirius Black, Remus, Lupin are some of my favorite fictional characters of all time, and I will pick up any book that has that even mentions the Marauders in them. As of right now, I don't think she will ever write one. So even though it's my first time reading this series, The Prisoner of Azkaban is my favorite one, and that one is the one that mentions the Marauders the most, and I just want to read about them and all the adventures and trouble that they probably got into while they were at Hogwarts. The next question is, an author who should totally write more books. I picked Mary Rakowski for this, and she's finally releasing one more book this year, which is one of my most anticipated 2018 releases. I really love her storytelling and the way that she progresses the story within each book and the way she writes character arcs so I will definitely pick up any other book that she releases. Next question is a character who should have totally ended up with someone else. I chose Alina Starkov from the Grisha Trilogy. If you have read this you know who she ends up with and it's pretty much a popular opinion. Not a lot of people like who she ended up with. It wasn't a bad choice but it necessarily wasn't the best choice. Kind of glad she didn't end up with Nikolai who was the guy that I wanted her to end up with because we're now getting a duology all based on him and I know he has travels with Zoya from the Grisha trilogy so I am rooting for them. They are my new ship. If you don't know who she ends up with I will mute this till I put this book down. So I did not like the fact that she ended up with Maul. It's not that Maul was a bad guy, it's just that he got kind of annoying and I didn't really like him towards the end of books, towards the ending of the trilogy. I liked him in Shadow and Bone. He was okay in, Ru in Siege and Storm and in Ruin and Rising I just couldn't stand him anymore. I didn't like any scenes that he was in and I just don't think he accepted Alina for who she truly was. He didn't want her when she was using her power and just don't think it was the wisest choice to put Alina and Maul together. The next question is totally should have ended differently and I have two answers for this question. The first one is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas. Now it's not that I didn't like the ending of this trilogy, it's just that it wrapped up too nicely. It wrapped up too well. Everyone pretty much survived, everyone got a happy ending and I am not a fan of it. It's not like I wanted everyone to die but there was a certain character that died and I would have had no problem if they would have stayed dead. So that's how I feel about this. The next answer for that question is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. Not specifically Shadow and Bone, Ruin and Rising, which is the, uh, the conclusion to the Grisha trilogy. I didn't like that ending. I didn't like what happened with the villain. I didn't like who Alina ended up with. I just wanted more from that conclusion. So that's how I feel about that one. Next question is, totally should have had a movie franchise. Now I wouldn't necessarily want a movie franchise for this book. I just want a perfectly well done directed movie of Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. Now as of filming this video, I'm pretty positive they have already sold the movie rights of this and that Blake Crouch is working on it, but I'm not 100% sure. This book is adapted very well into a movie. That would be a movie that I would enjoy. 
and I think a lot of other people will enjoy. This has action, romance, thriller. I totally see this being made into a movie. Question number eight is totally should have had only one point of view. Now I don't have this book with me anymore because I got rid of the trilogy, but that is A Legion by Veronica Roth. And you all should know why this should have only had one point of view, so I'm gonna leave it at that. The next question is totally should have had a cover change, and that book is Slammed by Colleen Hoover. This is the most boring crap cover I have ever seen. This cover has a stool on it and the title in a very plain and boring font. I have no interest in reading this book. It just seems like a boring book about slam poetry. I had heard some good reviews on this, so that is the only reason why I bought it, but I don't like this cover. Next question is, totally should have kept the original covers. Now, I'm not the only person who has chosen this answer. There's a lot of people who have picked this book, and that is The Diviners by Libba Bray. Now, I haven't read this book either, but I will insert a picture of the old cover for this book, and that cover is gorgeous. That cover intrigues me. That cover makes me want to pick up this book and read it. This cover, on the other hand, has purple people looking omnisciously into the distance, and this series has had, like, three cover changes, and that really upsets me because I like my covers to match, so the fact that I have this cover and they have changed it ever since I got this cover really upsets me. The old cover for this book was beautiful and they should have kept the series with that same cover. And the last question of this tag is, totally should have stopped at book one. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. This book wrapped up very nicely. It stands perfectly fine as a standalone. I have only read the first book. I do have the second one, but I'm gonna unhaul it. Future video coming soon. I like Louisa, who is the main character, but I wouldn't want to follow her anymore. I think her story started and ended in this book perfectly fine. So I have no interest in picking up the next two books in this series, honestly. So that sums up my totally should have tag. I have some trouble coming up with some answers, but overall it was a really fun tag and I look forward to doing the totally didn't book tag. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Scene.